Today oh. is Stan Lee's Whoa. birthday. Oh, is it? Oh, shit. I thought he was going to go crazy. <laughs> 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 <All right. laughs> yes, people. Stan Lee is 92. Look at him. Fuck you, death. Yeah. <laughs> Excelsior. <laughs> Excelsior. Stick bang up your bony ass. But 92. Gee. He's 92 years old, man. 2008. I mean, I'm sorry. What? Was it, was what? It what? I'm sorry. No, what, what's the day? 28th. Yeah. December 28th. He's like, damn, I'm the old one. Damn, Corey, you got Alzheimer's? <laughs> yes, it is uh, Stan Lee's birthday today, December 28th. And Stan Lee is somebody that deserves to be mentioned around here. Martin, you're a big fan of the comics. Sure. Like you, everybody is nowadays. Like, like it, but you but you original funny book. You That's know? true. I am OG. You OG. You know? Stan Lee for being 92. <laughs> the man looks amazing. Yeah. I was at Comic Con about three years ago. He, he walked out of a out of the elevator with me. I didn't even know it was him because yeah. he was yeah, he was looking cool. I said, yeah, who's this fucking cat daddy looking dude right here? <laughs> it was Stan Lee. And Stan Lee 92. Notice now y'all take a hint from Stan Lee. Stan Lee don't need no cane. No. He don't need he don't need any, any of those fucking scooters. True. He's going here. He still he still gets on stage tap dancing yeah. talking about that Celsius. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, making oh, those cameos. You know. Yeah, does his cameos. He, he still talks like a young man. Like He's, a lot of people, they get old and their voice gets some yeah. of this in it, and they they take a long time to get their thoughts together and talk. And he not still him. has a very animated voice. Oh, he talks. He's still excited <laughs> about the shit that's coming your way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's a he's a marketer, and I I love him for that. Now the thing with Stan Lee. Stan Lee, of course, deserves all the credit in the world as far as comics go because he brought us some of the best comics out there, some true legends. I mean, without Stan Lee, you wouldn't have Spider-Man, you wouldn't have Hulk, you wouldn't have Thor, you wouldn't have Fantastic Four, and you wouldn't have the X-Men. He's so big that he's gone past just being the comic guy. When he was younger, he was a nerd just like everybody else. Yeah. You know, he. this is him. I don't know. This young is him. Stanley Lee. That's a young step. People don't even recognize that because y'all used to seeing that span that that Stan Lee. That's a straight up pimp. Yeah, right. <laughs> See, the reason why I read Marvel is because if I got made fun of by any of the guys in the neighborhood, I just had to show him a picture of Stan Lee. <laughs> you people because Stan Lee was like the Hugh Hefner of comics. Yeah, yeah you know, he probably wasn't fucking around because he's been he's been married to the same wife. For since I don't know since 1833. Yeah. <laughs> but Stan Lee was that guy that looked like he had the potential. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was that. He was that guy. He was. He was pretty much a porn director. It looks like a right <laughs> the guy had that porn. More, he had that porn mustache. Yeah. The hair. The had the hair coming out of the chest. Had suit. The suit. The leisure suit with the button the, undone to his navel. Yeah. You know, it looked like he was shooting smut on the weekends. <laughs> yeah. You know, and so you know when your friends come up and be like. Yo, man, you read all them funny books and shit, and then you just, just show them Stan Lee. And they be like, yo, look like he get mad, pussy man, shit. All right, then, all right. <laughs> you know, Spider-Man cool with me. <laughs> you know. Your, I, your friends were dumb. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say. <laughs> Here's a picture of a guy who wrote this. Oh, well, he looks cool, so I guess reading comic books is cool now. <laughs> I don't think that worked out that way. <laughs> hey, Mar, you know. Hey, Mar, you know. <laughs> See, Mark, you that, or you telling this story in a weird way. No, Mark, you didn't, you, didn't, you didn't grow up on the streets like I did, man. So, you know, it was hard, man. You could you you grew up kind of in the suburbs. You could grow up to read comic books and be cool. Where I grew up, if I, if I read comic books, I would get shot, man. I'll get killed. I had to show them this kind of shit, man. I had to market myself. Like, who are your friends? Rudy and Old Weird Harold? <laughs> nah, man. Mush mouth. <laughs> you know, I had drug dealers coming up all the time, man. You know, it's like I, I, had, I had to look out for myself. It was dangerous to read comic books books in my neighborhood man. Oh, all that. yeah it was dangerous man the drug dealer in your neighborhood was the pharmacist yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you check on patients yeah. Yeah. hey Irma, how you doing there no. <laughs> yeah. the only drug dealer in your neighborhood was, was Walgreens <laughs> <laughs> that was your crack house <laughs> but I had to pitch him like a pimp man uh, yeah man that's the dude that made Spider-Man well shit why didn't you say so <laughs> did that work out for you it did it did you know they looked at me and they, and they were like all right, I'm gonna let you live today, Corey. Are right, you cool? By the way, you got the next issue after this. Shit, this shit, I was reading it. Look good, man. But man, it's, I know, Martin. I think you're lucky the way you grew up, Martin. You're lucky. Appreciate that. I didn't have that kind of freedom like you did. I found one interview of him. It was from 1977. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and Stan Lee has been has 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 looked cool longer than some of us have been alive. Man. Sure. It was a this this video is from Virginia Tech. And this is how cool Stan Lee is. I, like, even back then, Stan Lee was huge. But he went to this, I guess he went over here and did this small interview for these people. And the, the person who's doing the interview is a young woman. And this young woman is just, I mean, 
she might as well be in front of a rock star, man. She's giggling through this whole interview. <laughs> she's all giddy. Even when the interview starts out, you can tell she's nervous. I mean, she's like, oh, what do I say to Stan Lee? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have with us Mr. Stan Lee, who is the publisher of Marvel Comics. And today he's going to tell us a little bit about how he got started, and etc. Now, the Marvel Age began in 1961 with Fantastic Four, is that correct? Right, that was our first book in the so-called Marvel <laughs> Age of Comics. The mafia shades on. Yeah. All of literature, <laughs> as we all know. So instead of a lot of good guys who always won at the end and uh, they were brilliant and they were superior to the villains and they never did anything wrong, we came up with the Fantastic Four. Who you hear that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't believe he, he drew that. No. And shit funny. They did something wrong. And they weren't really that much better than the bad guys. And um, I would like to think that these stories were unexpected and you never knew what was going to happen next. I was able to keep a lot of artists busy at once. I would just tell them a basic plot. You hear that? <laughs> he ain't saying, ain't, like no. you said, that ain't shit funny. No. <laughs> she wants to fuck Stan Lee so yeah, bad. She does. They would, right, they would draw anything. I never knew what to expect. Sometimes I didn't even recognize the story. It was different than what I had told them. <laughs> so it kept me awake. It was like doing crossword. She's oh, like, God. look at her. She's I'm like, looking at her lips. Look at her lips. She's like, I have no idea what he's talking about, but I want to fuck this guy so he's bad. Throwing hits at him. Yeah. Look at, look at her lips, <laughs> girl. Y'all know, y'all picking up on this shit now, yeah. right? You know, girls when they lick those lips, that's yeah, it. That's it. Tell me, she don't want to fuck Stanley right now. Anybody? Oh. Anybody? <laughs> no, she does. <laughs> Man, I t Stan Lee made it cool for people. Like me, people from the streets, like me from the ghetto, who you know, who could not read comics without, you know, without, without, without sacrificing your manhood or your, your, you know, your ability to look hard, you know. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> and Stan Lee made that possible for kids like me, man. Stan Lee might have saved my life. So for that, I want to wish the true comic book pimp, Stan Lee. A very, a very you very merry birthday, Man. Yeah. <laughs> merry Christmas, and a happy New Year, and a happy birthday to me. <laughs> yes, thank you, Stanley.